Students at Kimball, West Seattle, Viewlands, and James Baldwin Elementaries are getting a fresh start in new school buildings. And see how one former student from Robert Eagle staff turned her hobby into artwork for the school. All this and more coming up on First Bell. Hey SPS, I'm Sophia Charchuk. And I'm Teresa Scribner. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. We're so excited to be back for our second season to bring you even more great stories. We had so much fun meeting all the teachers, students, and school leaders. We can't wait to show you what's in store for season two. So let's get into it. We're kicking things off at Robert Eagle Staff Middle School, where students and their artwork get a chance to shine. Our colleague Sandra has the story. To see student artwork hanging in the hallways of schools is no surprise, but one student at Robert Eagle Staff is getting a chance to see their art on permanent display. Three, two, one. Before leaving middle school, Evie Ishisaka left a lasting gift for the Eagle Staff community. Principal Zachary Stowell commissioned the young artist to create portraits of current students. I was really surprised. Like, I was just at lunch with my friends, and he came up to me and was talking to me about it, and I was like, wow, okay, cool. And then just kind of sunk in, of like, wow, my art's going to be on the school for who knows how long. The images are now a permanent art installation at the school. Evie, who's entering her freshman year at Ingram High School, said the drawings allow past, present, and future students to see a representation of themselves in the hallways. Well, I think it's important to show like a diverse amount of students, and so when people come to the school, they can see people that are like them, people that look like them, that might have similar experiences, and I think that's just something that is important to be able to see. The incorporation of student work and cultural representation in the hallways was a common theme during the recent community meetings on well-resourced schools. Principal Stowell has made it his mission to cover as many walls as he can with student artwork. We spend more time here with our Ravens than we do with our own family. And so how do we make it feel as comfortable and as inclusive and caring as possible? And if there's a blank wall and you have something to go on it, let's, let's do it. Our walls is just a it's a, another teaching point. Many SPS schools have murals and artwork done by current and former students. Next time you're in one of our schools, be sure to check out the hallways. Back to the studio. School is where some of our earliest memories are made, and students at four elementaries get to make new ones in their new school buildings. SPS recently saw the completion of construction at four sites. Students at Kimball, Viewlands, and West Seattle Elementaries started the school year in new or renovated buildings. James Baldwin Elementary, formerly known as Northgate Elementary, also got a makeover. All the buildings were designed to be sustainable and provide students with spaces where they can explore their possibilities. Our goal is to have our students thrive, and these buildings are manifestations of that. These capital levies help us create the welcoming and safe environment that we all want for our students. We're here to celebrate the student learning that's going to happen here. Kimball's design preserved many of the trees that had been removed by incorporating them throughout the new building. You can learn more about these projects and upcoming construction on the district website. Now that school is back in session, you don't want to miss these important announcements. Get ready for the rundown. Make All families are highly encouraged to fill out the student meal assistance forms in the back to school packet. They're not just about receiving free lunch. Students may qualify for discounts on events, exam fees, field trips, and more. And we really need families to turn in those FERPA forms so we can use your student's photo in district newsletters, videos, social media, and websites. The form is especially important to us as it allows students to be highlighted on our show. If the FERPA form is not submitted by October 1st, it becomes an automatic opt-in. So don't delay. Get those forms in today. Metro League is launching another way to buy athletic tickets. Fans can now choose to buy tickets for SPS High School Athletic Games online. Ticketed events will be available at the hometown digital box office. The conversation about well-resourced schools continues in an online community meeting Tuesday, September 26th at 5.30 p.m. on Zoom. If you didn't get to lend your voice at one of the in-person meetings, you can still contribute through the online survey. Be sure to check your email for the link 
or visit the Well Resourced Schools webpage. That's it for this episode. Be sure to tune in next month when SPS students join us for the broadcast. And if you want to learn more about these stories or watch past episodes of the show, visit our website. And don't forget to subscribe to the School Beat newsletter. Until next time, I'm Teresa Scribner. And I'm Sophia Charchuk. We'll catch you later for First Bell. <laughs>